What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, I said I'd do a part two to the last video that I've done to show you what's really hidden in this photo. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the overlay that they put over these things, which these things only look like little stones and little rocks, but when you burn certain sections as you can see where they put an overlay hiding three quarters, maybe half of the item, whatever it may be. And then I'm going to do a little burn for you guys and show you this because again, you might see a little white spot, but guess what? there's something much larger and they just put this color, which is basically the same thing as the ground itself, and they put this color of a manipulation over it, but guess what you see? You still see the shape of said item, it just happens to be in that color, but they never completely take the object out. Let's just jump right into it, I wanna show you this. Again, folks, we're gonna use the same page. This is the same photo we used in the last video in part one, and of course, you already get the gist of all of this. It's from Sol 52, and of course, it was on April 13th, 2021 South 52 at a local mean solar time of 1313 or 113 p.m. And of course, 31 seconds after that. Not that that matters, but anyway, image credit goes to NASA, JPL, and Caltech. Now let's just jump right into Photoshop. Okay. What we're going to look at is from this point on. Now it doesn't have a large object like this on the other side. However, there's a bunch of little pieces like we see here, just little bits and pieces, right? Folks, this alone is complete trash. And you can't make really head to tails out of it. And you'll see it's completely mismatch of BS and just a bunch of garbage in here. That's all it is, just manipulation. But you'll also see what looks like small rocks here and there. Might be right here. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you this area right here that there's more, in fact, in this photo, right? Okay, let's jump back over here, back out a little bit so we can see the whole photo. And let's do a full enhancement. And here you go. Here's the mess I was telling you about right here in the, in the center. Completely washed out, nothing there to see. However, you can see bits and pieces like this here. You can see separate pieces here. Now, there's very little bit of that showing if we were to go back right here. I can see it right in here. Here's one here, one here, and you can see other squares. You can see lines and stuff. Let's see if those pieces are there. Concentrate on that area. If you have to put your finger in on the screen so you don't miss where it's at. Folks, it's right there. Now, little pieces like this here. What does that look like? It's not even there. All you see is the very tip of this right here, and that's it. That's it, folks. See that? But look at the bits and pieces, the white parts sticking out. You also have this other weird framed item thing. I'm not even sure what that is. I'm just going to go ahead and zoom in just a little bit. We can have a better look. And folks, check this stuff out. Again, you're only going to see bits and pieces of this, but once you burn around a set item, you can then use the dodge tool to try to see if you can find more white underneath that shape. So in other words, you may have a shape that looks like this. Okay, goes down like this. Okay, but it looks like only the very tip of this you'll see, but the white is under the darker manipulation. Bringing the lines out brings out the actual items, like this piece over here. Okay, you can actually see it's under here. Now, when you see this kind of fuzziness, like this right here, that is me trying to burn off the top layer of manipulation. And then we try to bring out the white and we can try to bring out any shapes that there are, right? We see this right here. This pot is actually there, but there's more to it. You can see more white right here. There's something right here. You can see it doing this. And it's right under here in this area right there. You would have never seen that had you not burned around it. And I'm going to show you a little technique, which is not hard. Everybody can do this. Like I said, you may see bits and pieces like this, but check this item out right here. Notice how it's this way. Got maybe a little white right there peeking out. 
and then you have this piece and a little bit of this piece. Now keep an eye on those two pieces I just showed you. They're right there, folks. One, two. The manipulation is actually right here. You can see the line, if you look carefully, doing this, just like that, going around, and you can see the upper part of it, stopping there, stopping here, and as it goes along to the left, it's completely straight. Then you see it's kind of like doing this, but have a better look. This item is actually bigger than it appears instead of this, where it looks like just rocks until you get into this. It stop burning and you see the actual layers of this manipulation, okay? There's so many other objects in here you cannot get out clearly because clearly they weren't meant to be seen to begin with. So the chances of you seeing any of these objects is slim and none, folks. They did a great job of really messing with the center of this. But there's other items, like this item here. Almost looks like this boomerang shape type thing, right? You can see it right here. See that? Right there. Up at the top here. Is that even in the photo? Absolutely is. Look at the shapes right here, folks. See that? There's actually a piece here I didn't even see, but you can see these are right here. Right in this area. There's another one here. If you look down here at the very bottom right, you can see these other items inside. And again, you can see where I blasted through this area. Right here, you can see this object or objects because clearly they're not defined. But you can see right here where they've taken it out. Enhance it. You can see right here only these small pieces can be seen. If that. Right here. And again, same thing with this stuff right here. Watch this. That's that piece right there. That's all you're seeing. But there's more to it. There's more of a body to it. Like this item on the bottom, you can see it right there, just barely peeking out. But there's more to it. Let me show you on this side. Let's go back to the other side here for a moment. Let's use the burn tool, right? Now you can see I've got it 14% exposure. The 62% here on the top left is only the size of this brush you're going to use, right? So we're just going to go over this area right here, and I want to show you this. Some things that just pop right out. If I was to just simply burn, don't do a whole lot to it, just kind of do this to it. And we're going to see if we can bring this stuff out more. And you start to see shapes of things that you wouldn't expect to see. Notice how you can see this thing is actually visible a little bit right here. A little bit more now. And you can see other items sitting right here, especially what looks like this dark gray piece. It literally still keeps going down, folks. There's more to this item. It looks like a circle. Not a complete circle, but you can see this thing doing this. But look at the actual manipulation. All you see is bits and pieces of this white, right? See it? See that? Right there. Now, we can keep going on. And let's see if there's anything else in this photo. I'm not doing anything. I'm not, I'm not putting these things in. You can see different shapes coming out. Look at this. That line's in there now. I didn't do anything to it, folks. I'm literally just burning over this lightly, just going over the photo. And you can see little bit pieces and shapes and everything else just starting to come out of the photo. And folks, I didn't even finish doing this photo yet. It's there's so much in here to see. And I know a lot of you guys are going to rip this thing apart. Now, if we were to go to the Dodge tool and go right into this area here, is there any more white to that? Let's see. Gonna go over it lightly. You can see the whiter piece is getting whiter. Now it's either gonna stop getting, see how you can see the shape of this thing all of a sudden right here? Just gonna go over it, see if there's anything there. Suddenly, there's something else to this piece. I'm not sure what it is. Now I can go over here and do the same thing. It'll get lighter, but you won't see a shape. We wanna go back to the burn tool again. And like I said, folks, just go over it like this. Now you'll hear me clicking, clicking, clicking because if I was just to click it once and do this, doesn't seem to make it darker as like I'd like it to be. So I'm just gonna go like this, and I'll do several clicks as I'm going along. You wanna to go to the photo and see if there's anything in the photo, 
and bring out any shapes that they may be here. And you can see little pieces coming out of this, folks. Look at this. I'm not doing much of this. Notice how the two white pieces just popped out of this right here. See that? Right in here. Notice the darker gray right here. But you can see the white at the top of this piece. And you can see the very bottom of that. Let's go back. It is, in fact, there, folks. It's right there. See that? Again, we can burn it. See if there's anything of any value. Just go like this. And you'll start to see where they burned. And you'll see the actual pieces of the object sticking out. That's what I'm getting at. Simple burn tool does wonders. Now, you don't want to go too crazy with it because you'll burn right through the photo. It isn't going to be worth a darn after that. So you don't want to do that. But you can see these pieces starting to pop out. Like I said, you can go up and down vertically or horizontally, and you can bring these things out. Now, let's bring out the dodge tool, and you can see again these two whited areas. So anything that's already got a white signature, we're going to try to bring out. Also, take note of... Right here, you can see the shape of this said item through the manipulation. Let's look closer. Do you see that line, that defined line right there? See that? Right here. Notice how it's going down like this through the manipulation. Let's use the dodge tool. It's already white. Let's see if we can bring out the rest of this thing. Okay, I can bring out the rest of the shape of that. There it is. So we can find the objects. Now, can we tell what these things are? Obviously not. But they appear to be broken pieces. They appear to be parts of something. I don't know. Here's another example of this right here on the right. Notice the actual line of the manipulation. Okay? The stuff is, in fact, there. It's right there. And again, this one on the left we just looked at. I can still see it. It's right there. And like I said, folks, all it is is just a simple burn. You can go back and forth with it and just keep clicking. You know, you didn't want to go too crazy. Just enough to see if you could bring out shapes and nothing more. Because if I was to sit here and do this, we're just going to keep burning, burning, burning until it turns black. We don't want to do that. We want to, we want to burn through this enough so we can actually see if there's any other shapes or squares, whatever it may be, underneath this manipulation. And again, sometimes you won't find a darn thing. And sometimes you'll find things just laying there and there's manipulation all over the stuff. And it's meant to be blocked out. See that? You can see the white shape even under, again, under this manipulation. See that? Take a closer look, folks. You can see the shape under it, and you can see where they went over it. And again, we can see the, the lines, straight line, coming right through this manipulation from top here. Comes back down here, continues on, but you can still see it going through it. So it's like a burn to 101, if you will. We'll go back to the other side. And a lot of this is the same way, folks, just like right here. Same thing. You can see the very top of this piece right here doing this. It's right there. But there's more to it. Something under it. See that? I can just see that rectangular piece right here. It's all about trying to burn it and get the shapes out. Things that are white already have a white signature. You can just use the dodge tool a little bit and get that out as well. You can emphasize and bring out the shape of these objects, just like we did, like right in here. You can see this one. How much is that is exposed? Right there. See that? Notice the manipulation running right through it. It's like a blur. That's right, folks. Let's enhance it. There's the item. It's right there. There's more to it. It's not just that. And folks, here you go. Here's the whole area. Now, something tells me, and you guys may agree, you may not, is that this is complete bogus in the background, which I've said before. And I think there may be other structures back here, or ruined structures back here. And all this debris from here has fallen down from said items. Or these items, like this one here, are actually objects just sitting on the ground, meaning they're not in ruins. There's just a bunch of pieces laying here. Now let's go back to the original part of this photo. Right there, folks, look at this. Enhanced, check this out. You can see the actual manipulation. And this is all you see. This is manipulation here. All this manipulation here. All you're gonna see is bits and pieces of this area right there. 
Wait, is it right there? All you're seeing is this, but there's much more. And folks, there you go. It's all about trying to burn this stuff away. And folks, I haven't even done here. Folks, I promise you there's a lot more in this photo than meets the eye. There you go, folks. There's a full photo. Stop it right here. Use your magnifiers. And there you go. Folks, like I said, there's so much more in this photo, right? And I gave you a little idea just how I do this. Of course, I did it quickly. But it's the same technique that I use. Use a burn tool only so much. You don't want to go crazy in one area. You just want to kind of brush over it, so to speak, and see if there's any squares or any parts of these white pieces or even dark pieces that may pop out. You'll see the overall piece, even if it's part white and part darker color, it doesn't matter. You'll actually see the outline of said shape. If there's anything that's got a white signature, you can literally use the dodge tool and just go around it and you'll bring the item out. If it's not too heavily manipulated, that is, right? But there you go. Folks, like I said, this helicopter is here for a reason, right? It's here to look over and around these objects that are laying on the ground that they don't want the Perseverance rover to roll over. It's as simple as that. This is the reason why the helicopter is there. Now, they said it was there to help the Perseverance rover actually navigate on the, the landscape, right? Well, they didn't need it for curiosity. Why would they need it for Perseverance? Let me guess. They made a more stupid uh, rover? I don't think so. It's the most high-tech rover that we've had yet on this planet. So I don't believe that crap for a moment. I believe, like I said, there's probably higher structures, and that helicopter is perfect. It can go up, look inside, even if it can't go inside. It can still go up to certain levels, look around, up and around set items, and take photos. That's why the helicopter is there. As always, folks, drop your comment down below. Let me know what you think. I'm always curious to hear what you've got to say. Please like and share the video. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Folks, we have more stuff coming up, so stay tuned for that. More moon, Mars. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.